Hi everyone. Uh, what I've got here, I've mixed up a whole bunch of brand new paint. These are Creative Place paints. And so there's emerald green, which I still feel looks a bit more like a mint green, perhaps. That's just my opinion. Um, the cobalt blue, cadmium yellow hue, purple lake, and scarlet lake. So I've got those all mixed up, ready. Let me move that down. And I've had enough playing with string that I am actually going to put what I've experienced together and create a picture. So that is the plan. Uh, what have we got? Okay, so because I had to mix up completely brand new paints, so that they didn't contain any silicon and that I also knew what ingredients were inside it. So with the last of what I had, I combined two parts PVA, two parts Liquitex pouring medium and one part general H2O water. Combine that all together, mixed it all up, and this is what's left that I've stored in a an old tie-dye bottle, and that is what I've mixed these paints with. So let me just put that aside. Okay, so what came next? Alright, so they would be one part approximate eyeballs, um, one part paint, one part of the new pouring medium mixture, and a couple of dashes of water to consistency. So, I don't know if you can see, there we go. Um, and yes, zero silicon. So that's about it for that story. Um, oh, except the white. The white house paint is also mixed with approxi approximately, oh, I think it's more 70-30 with the pouring medium mixture. So, yeah, it's, uh, I really got to work out what I want to trial. I've just found that when I have left out the PVA, uh, some of my paintings, the paint is, it, it separates and it looks like um, little particles. Let me see. One second. This is a great example. This was my marble marble painting with my little man. And if you can see it looks very grainy. Like it's all just fallen apart. No. Yes, I'm not too sure how I feel about that. What it is about that. Is it that it's missing that extra binder of the PVA? Oh, yeah, we got to do something. Uh, or what it is. It's just... I've just see. found that the paintings that I've done where they're... Uh, PVA is left out or where I ran out 
they don't hold up very well. But we'll see. So we're back into the PVA with what I already had at home. And the last of the pouring medium pouring medium from Liquitex. Thank you, Leaky Leaf. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Let's get painting. No. Let's take the whole lid off. Gee, I did that up tight. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Let's get this down. Righty. I'll just move these back. I know they'll be out of shot, but just let this move around a bit. Okay. There's lots of bubbles because it's Freshly mixed. Oh, I just panicked then thinking, oh, I don't have legs, but I do. Whew. Ah, that's a bit confusing, isn't it? Sorry, I mean push pins underneath the canvas. Because, <laughs> yes, I have, I do have legs. They would like me to sit down, but... I do have them. Okay. There we go. And I am out of gloves. So, yeah, this is going to frustrate me no end tonight. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. I'm going to torch that. And bubbles. Okay. <clears throat> I can still see a couple of little bubbles in there, but if I spend too long doing that, then I lose lose time on the other things. Alright. So I'm just pulling out some twine. I have couple of, just got ball, the ball of twine. So, a couple of different lengths. And I'm going to put one into, oops. That's because I've got sticky fingers now. Okay into the green, emerald green. Okay. Leave a bit sticking out. That's ready. And the blue. I'm going to leave, so this is the cobalt blue, so I'm going to leave the yellow, the red and the purple for, for the front. So the green and the blue are pretty much going to be background. And then I will do the yellow, the red, and the purple over the top of that. So. 
Yeah. All right. Let's go. So they're not incredibly long this time. Just a decent length, probably about 40 centimeters because it looks like it's about the same length as the canvas. And this is a 30 by 40. And yeah, so this one I'm pulling straight down. Let's see. And I'm going to pick it up and layer it in another position. And I'm going to actually drag that across because I forgot to bend it, to loop it over and down. I'm going to lay it again here. So it's just a bunch of repeating, repeating the layer that I want. And go there, hook it that way. See, it is getting lighter and lighter as I go as well, but that's all right because then that gives this one is a lot more solid, this one is more wispy, and then this one. Oops, <laughs> got a bit carried away at the bottom. Is much more. Delicate. Okay, so I'm not going to pop that back into the pot. I will if I need to, but I'm not going to do it before I know that I need to do that. Oh dear. Okay, I should have put a bucket of water next to me so I could constantly wipe. It's weird without gloves. Okay, sorry, I forgot you were zoomed in. I'm back with the blue. This beautiful blue. Pop that down. Not even going to let it sit. <clears throat> Gosh, sorry, I'm not even going to let it sit. Pull straight away. Gee, sorry, that was my dog racing out the door. So, it is just sitting on top of the paint and gliding off. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to go the opposite way. And then glide it off. And then definitely one more there. It'll be a lot lighter, but that's okay. Pull down. Oh, I keep doing that. There we go. All right, so that's the start of what we're looking at. You will see that... There are some reactions going on in there. Over there. Which is very pretty. But only due to the reactions between the paints and the technique and the densities. Not because they're silicon. Alright. So I now I'm actually considering do 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 alright. No I was just thinking it would have been good if I had another another shade of green and another shade of blue, like darker. But and to add more in the background. So 
So that's okay. I, I, I wanted fresh paint, so I don't want to taint that with using any others that I have pre-mixed already. So I've just got some more twine, shorter lengths. And uh, take the stick out, pop that into put the purple lake, and sit it there, and then just push it in a little. It's really quite a beautiful colour. And do the same with the red. Go, that's all covered and just the yellow to go Take a stick and pop that in okay oh don't drop in so far okay that's all covered, pop the sticker to the side. And it's time to get pretty. So we're gonna go with red first. And I'm going to lay it right there. And I'm not going to re-dip it, so. I'm going to oh, try and get it to spiral and get it off so it doesn't drip. Lay it down in the spiral, pull it up. Oh well, things happen. Not a big fan of that one. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Bit of purple. Purple lake. So I'm just going to crisscross a bit, pull down. One bigger one up here. That's it. Oh, that's pretty. There's a bubble. Let's see. No, I'll get it later. Okay. Oh dear. Fingers are so yuck right now. I am a big fan of gloves. <laughs> Flash of yellow. Take it off that way, and that way. And a little one down here. I'm going to take off the bottom. Sweet, that is really, really pretty. Absolutely loving this. Try and work out which way you want twists and can't just have a flower land in midair. So I'm feeling that I'm rambling a little bit, sorry about that. This one I'm going to put there. And I'm just going to drag it off the side a bit. 
for the varying shades. That's the blue, the yellow, the red. I need to do something with that red. Way too powerful for a light wispy painting. So I'm going to go with the opposite end with that spin of my finger. Okay. Pick up. Much lighter, prettier. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to cover this one again because I'm really not happy with that one. There's three yellows, two purples, two reds, and just for a little dash, I'm going to grab the yellow, fold it all up so I get a point, dip it in just a little, So they're not perfect little dots in the center of the flowers, but they are a hint of what's coming through. I know you can't really see the yellow on yellow, but where are the rules? Like seriously. Uh, And that's about as much as I'm going to do with that. So just, sorry guys, this is the thoughts that are just flying randomly. Okay, stop touching, stop fiddling. I have my flowers. Very cool. I enjoyed that. I'm going to wipe my hands one more time before washing them. And torch any more bubbles that I can get out of it. There we go. Alright, I'll just bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so this is what we've got. Some beautiful wisps. Oh, there we go. Some flowery effects. That is stunning. Look at that bit right there. Yes. Alrighty. So the only thing I'm looking at right now is this red bit. So I am just going to grab a stick, scrape up some white, and thin out Sorry, you can't see that. Just thin out where that red came down. Still can't see that, sorry. Okay, I'm not going to fiddle now because I'm struggling doing it one-handed. And I'm not actually showing you what I'm doing. So there you have it. All right. Thanks, guys. It's been truly wonderful watching watching people come up with their uh, art pieces using this technique. So thank you so much. 
I really love it. And thank you for being with me. And wherever you are, be great in the moment. Bye for now.